हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल विक्टोरिया फिजिक्स वी हैव डन द प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ मार्क्स आई हैव जस्ट शोन दैट एंड यूजिंग द आई सी सेवन फोर वन फाइव वन दिस इज द सर्किट दैट वी हैव जस्ट कंप्लीटेड इफ यू हैवन सीन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस जिस गो बैक टू दैट link uh, it's there in the description box and you can see the full video of 74151 uh, max uh, operation i have explained this truth table with two variations of data input so i hope it's clear now we will do uh, this is the second part that is will be uh, doing a function okay a boolean function Uh, using marks that is the IC seven four one five one. I hope uh, now the pin numbers are uh, known to you. So I have taken a function in this format ABC summation zero two four seven. So for this uh, four min terms, I'll have the value as one. So you can see at position zero, I have the value one for the output of the function. Which is D naught, and for two, that is zero one zero. I have one again, which is D two. Uh, the next one is four and seven. So similarly, for one zero zero combination, I have uh, the D output function uh, value as one, that is D four, and for the final uh, one is the seventh. Seventh value that is one one one. All the data select inputs should be connected to the uh, positive supply, and I'll get a one. The rest of the um, uh, data input pins will be connected to zero or ground. So I have drawn the diagram accordingly for you all. So. you can see this is the data select inputs and this is the input uh, data input pins so i have connected d0 d2 d4 d7 to 5 volt supply so d0 d2 d4 and d7 are connected to plus 5 volt that is vcc and d3 d1 d5 and d6 are connected to ground i have already mentioned in my previous video uh, that strobe should always be uh, connected to ground because it should have the active low value for proper functioning of this ic okay and 5 and 6 is y and y bar so i hope this part is clear now just in the same thing i have just opened uh the connections for this data input and rest i have kept as it is this three uh wires uh are the select inputs that is wire number 9 10 and 11 so this is my 9 this is my 10 this is my 11 that is abc this three select inputs or s0 s1 s2 uh, as we have done in our previous video now uh I haven't opened this five and six because this five and six is my output. Five is y and six is y bar. So from five, you can see from five I have connected this white LED, and from six I have connected this red LED via uh, one kilo ohm resistance. I hope it's clear. Okay, and. I have connected. Okay, once one more time. As you can see, ground is pin number eight, and strobe is pin number seven. Both are connected to ground. So pin number six, sorry, pin number eight and seven. This red and this black wire is connected to ground, and sixteen is my VCC. Okay. Now rest of the thing, I just follow this section, and I'll. do the circuit you can do this easily at home with this minimal uh, circuit components and i have told you that you can see in my previous uh, videos that i have used a 5 volt power supply 
and some of my students have said that I don't have a power supply then what should I do so I just told them that you can have uh, a 9 volt battery like this if you go to any computer shop or any uh, electronics shop they'll fetch you this 9 volt battery along with this wire facility and you can use this instead of a 5 volt power supply because a 5 volt power supply will cost uh, a lot but this is maximum 30 to 40 rupees okay and you can do, do the practical at home itself okay now uh, moving uh, this part okay let us take a wire so first look into this picture d0 is connected to plus 5 volts so i'm connecting d0 d0 means pin number 4 so pin 4 is connected to plus 5 so it's connected to high voltage pin 2 is connected to high voltage so okay so 2 and 4 is connected now I have D4 as 1 so D4 is pin 15 okay so pin 15 will be also uh, at high voltage let us take a different color wire so that is easily uh, recognizable so I'm taking a green wire so D15 is connected okay So D15 is connected to high voltage, sorry D4 which is pin number 15 and finally you have, follow the diagram, D7 which is pin number 12 will be connected to high voltage. So I take this wire, different color, so 12 is this one that is connected to high voltage so 4 2 15 and 12 so 4 2 15 and 12 are connected to high voltage okay now I'll connect the ground ones which are connected to the ground so D uh, 1 okay D1 is connected to ground so that is pin number 3 so pin 3 let us take a yellow wire pin 3 is connected to ground okay So pin 3 is connected to ground as you can see this one D1 after that 1 pin number 1 which is D3 that means this value D3 will be connected to ground so let us connect D3 that is pin number 1 okay, let's take it a black color wire cut your wires into uh, small parts so that it's easily um, recognizable okay so d3 i have done which is pin number one after that d5 which is pin number 14 so i'll take pin number 14 this is 14 Okay, pin 14 I have connected and finally pin 13, okay, that is also connected to ground. Very simple experiment and just cautiously put all the wires in the pin number against the pin numbers and you can easily 
make the circuit i'm showing in this format if you want you can take a screenshot and practice at home okay okay so now we'll verify it and i'll just show all the sections now let's make the combinations so this is my a b and c this is my a green pin, uh, green wire is a this is brown wire that is b and the yellow wire is my c okay so let's make all of them as zero okay i'll connect the battery be careful which uh, line you make the positive and negative because most students uh, tend to make mistake over there so you can see that i have made a b and c as zero all of them zero i am showing this first case and that then uh, what should i get i should get uh, d as 1 so y will be glowing and y bar should be off so my y is glowing and y bar which is the red led it is off now now let's move on to the next part so the next part you can see that 001 combination will fetch you y as 0 so my this led which is glowing right now should be off and the opposite one that is y bar should glow okay let's check it so a b c c is my yellow wire so i just make the c as 1 okay so i find y is 0 y bar is 1 similarly 0 1 0 okay so b is my brown wire so i'll make this one as 1 and rest of the two wires as 0 Okay. So you can see it's one again, and y is one. This is y, and red LED is y bar. So it's y bar is zero. Again, the next combination zero one one. So B and C will be one, and A will be zero. My A is this green wire. So I'll keep this one to ground it, and I'll make the other two wires at high voltage. So you can see that this LED, which is Y, is zero. Okay, so zero one one gives you Y as zero and Y bar as one. I hope you are getting this. Similarly, uh, let's see uh, the combination of this one zero zero. So A will be one and B C will be zero. So my A will be one and B C will be zero okay okay so a 0 0 a 1 0 so you get one so y is glowing y bar is off so in this way you just check the rest of the three i'm not showing okay if you want i can show okay just a second i show it to you the next one is 1 0 1 so if you uh So just open this uh, C one zero one. So just make this one. So one zero one will fetch you Y as zero, Y bar as one. Okay. Next is one one one. Let's check the last one. Oh, I am missing out one more. Okay. So one one zero will also give you zero. Just check it. So your C should be zero. Okay, so it's again zero, and this one is glowing. That is why bar is glowing. So it's one. Okay, the final one is all of them are one. So it will give you as per our uh, equation, it's one. So y is glowing and y bar is off. 
so I hope this part is clear to everyone how to solve um, a boolean expression with the help of marks with the help of IC 74151 okay so all the best for your exam and if you are new to my uh, YouTube channel I would uh, request you to just subscribe to my channel and follow and also share to other students who require uh, such videos for practicing okay thank you all stay safe